about the COVID-19 virus is it's kept us guessing ever since it first emerged. Omicron is what's likely to cause this trouble in the coming months because it has so many subvariants. So not a new Greek letter, but a whole host of subvariants, all of which seem to be able to evade some of our protections, either from vaccination or from our prior infections. One of the characteristics of the coronavirus has been its spike protein. That's where antibodies normally dock to protect us from the virus. But the new mutations have been attacking that process, making us vulnerable even if we've been vaccinated. That's why we've seen breakthrough infections. Now, that said, even with these new mutations, our vaccines probably protect us from the worst cases, but they're allowing the virus to continue to spread. Looking ahead, the people we have to be most concerned about are the most vulnerable. Those for whom vaccination doesn't really work and who've been relying on monoclonal antibodies, those specially designed drugs that have been such protections against the virus for people who have weakened immune systems. These new variants seem to be able to evade some of those properties, and that can be really worrying if you have people in your house who have cancer or other reasons that their immune systems are not up to snuff. So we are in a little bit of an arms race against this, this virus as it continues to present us with new challenges. But scientists keep tracking that. The CDC is on top of this all the time. We've seen how quickly new vaccines can be produced and be tailored to the specific variants that are coming along. And also, many of us have do, some, do have some forms of immunity that will probably protect us from the most severe forms of the disease. So this isn't meant to be alarmist. It's just simply a question of keeping your guard up and watching for public health messages.